I'm Archdeacon Rod Bauer and I welcome you to evening prayer for Saturday. The psalm will be Psalm 94 and the reading is from Philemon beginning at the 15th verse. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd, therefore can I lack nothing. He will make me lie down in green pastures and lead me beside still waters. He will refresh my soul and guide me in right pathways for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff comfort me. You spread a table before me in the presence of those who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil, and my cup shall be full. Surely your goodness and loving kindness will follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The day is now past, and the night is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father of light, receive the prayer and praise we offer you as our evening sacrifice. Make us a light for all the world, delivered by your goodness from all the works of darkness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Psalm 94. O Lord God, to whom vengeance belongs. O God, to whom vengeance belongs, shine out in glory. Arise, judge the earth, and requite the proud as they deserve. Lord, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph? How long shall all evildoers pour out words? How long shall they boast and flaunt themselves? They crush your people, O Lord. They oppress our possession. They murder the widow and the alien. They put the fatherless to death. And they say... The Lord does not see, nor does the God of Jacob consider it. Consider this, you senseless among the people. Fools, when will you understand? He who planted the ear, does he not hear? He who formed the eye, does he not see? He who disciplines the nations, will he not punish? Has the teacher of the world no knowledge? The Lord knows human thoughts. He knows that they are but mere breath. Blessed are those whom you discipline, O Lord, and teach from your law. Give them rest from days of misery till a pit is dug for the wicked. The Lord will not cast off his people, nor will he forsake his own. For justice shall return to the righteous and with them to all the true of heart. Who will stand up for me against the wicked? Who will take my part against the evildoers? The Lord had not been my helper. I would soon have dwelt in the land of silence. But when I said, my foot has slipped, your mercy, O Lord, was holding me. In all the doubts of my heart, 
Your consolations delighted my soul. Will you be any friend to the court of wickedness that contrives evil by means of law? They band together against the life of the righteous and condemn innocent blood. But the Lord is my stronghold. My God is my rock and my refuge. Let him requite them for their wickedness and silence them for their evil. The Lord our God shall silence them. Lord Christ, eternal word and light of the Father's glory, send your light and your truth that we may both know and proclaim your word of life. To the glory of God the Father, for you now live and reign, God, for all eternity. Amen. A reading from the letter to Philemon, beginning at the 15th verse. Perhaps this is the reason he was separated from you for a while so that you might have him back forever, no longer a slave, but more than a slave, a beloved brother, especially to me, but how much more to you, both in the flesh and in the Lord. So if you consider me your partner, welcome him as you would welcome me. If he has wronged you in any way or owes you anything, charge that to my account. I, Paul, am writing this with my own hand. I will repay it. I say nothing about your owing me, even your own self. Yes, brother, let me have this benefit from you in the Lord. Refresh my heart in Christ. Confident of your obedience, I am writing to you, knowing that you will do even more than I say. One thing more, prepare a guest room for me, for I am hoping, through your prayers, to be restored to you. Epaphras, my fellow prisoner in Christ Jesus, sends greetings to you. And so do Mark, Aristarchus, Demas and Luke, my fellow workers. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us, so let us celebrate the feast, not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying, he died to sin once for all. In living, he lives to God. See yourselves, therefore, as dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who sleep. For since by one man came death, by another has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. <coughs> Let us pray. Generous God, whose hand is open to fill all things living with plenteousness, 
Make us ever thankful for your goodness and grant that we, remembering the account that we must one day give, be faithful stewards of your bounty through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal One, we bring before you Peter, our Bishop, along with Sonia and Charlie, our assistant bishops. Continue, we pray, to grant them wisdom, and courage and inspiration as they lead us through this difficult time. We pray with the first peoples of this diocese, especially the Awabakal, the Virapai, the Darkenjung, Giwagal, Kamilaroi, Waramai, and Wanarua peoples. Grant us, we pray, a true and deep sense of reconciliation. We pray to and for, we pray with and for, the people of the Diocese of Guadalcanal for bishop, clergy and people together. We pray for Scott, our Prime Minister, and for Gladys, our Premier, for the National Cabinet. We pray especially that the recent outbreaks of COVID-19 in New South Wales may be identified and contained. to pray for those whose lives have been devastated by COVID-19, for people who have lost loved ones and livelihoods. Grant them your peace. We pray for emergency and essential services personnel, for all those who risk their own lives to save others. We pray for scientists and researchers seeking a vaccine and a cure for the virus. Be their guidance and their illumination, we pray. We pray for the clergy and the people of the parishes of Cardiff, Bullaroo, Harrington, district of Charlestown. We pray for the Samaritans Foundation, for executive staff and volunteers, and for all the Samaritans chaplains. We pray for the parish of Christchurch Cathedral, Hamilton, for Katara, Lambton, Merriweather and Cooks Hill and for the staff and family and students of Newcastle Grammar School. Grant us a deeper consciousness of your presence among us, a deeper connection with each other. And a deeper joy in your love. We ask all this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Come visit us, Lord, this night, so that by your strength we may rise at daybreak to rejoice in the resurrection of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. <laughs> 